It's the motherfucking DJ or the dog. The dog. La, 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 la. You know I'm facing with the SM4. And that is indeed true. You know good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever and we're so I will back to the beat up plans. We're going to play Back in the day, if you were smoking it up, you were playing as Hunter, as the song you can hear in the background, which don't worry, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Well, but nowadays it is Pirate Warrior, the org that goes face, or perhaps even Agro Shaman, but for today we are gonna return to the true war, we're gonna return to our roots, yo, we're gonna smack up the Faces with buff beasts. We're gonna go with Fairy Man, Smuggler Grade, Timber Wolf, Dire Wolf are giving all kinds of attacks to beasts, which are gonna be boosted via Smuggler Crate or, for instance, Strong Beast Rager. Scavenger Aena gonna get some bonuses when creatures die. We're gonna walk around with Dispatch Godos doing more damage. It's the motherfucking SM. Up to the point where they're attacked. We are gonna you go with a Toon Rhino in order to get a little bit more charges out of our animals. Savannah Highman, and on my newest, I wanna say ours, but unfortunately, uh, you, you might have it. Perhaps you don't, and then unfortunately, Don Angel giving a plus five plus five to a creature in our hand, which, oh, perhaps it might land on King Crush to do a whopping 13 damage out of nowhere. Let us see if this smoker can live up to the dream. For my hunters who be thinking we soft, we don't trade. No, we not at all. We're gonna go face. Hold up. For my hunters who be acting too bold, take a say. If you're ready for the face episode, shall be mine. Let's the hunt. Small weed every day. Now, actually, the timber move is a good card for later, but. As I'm noticing this, I'm gonna drop it out because I'm probably gonna start with a Trog Beast Ranger trying to get the kindly grandmother to low. Oh, there is King Crush. <laughs> That's a little too early. But, uh, yeah. And then perhaps learn to a kindly grandmother. Oh, are we facing. Are we facing. Zulok? Actually, I'm kind of happy that it landed on Kindly Grandmother and not on King Crush at this very moment. But yeah, this at least contest this. Kindly Grandmother on her own would not contest it. And if we're facing Zulok, wow! That's aggro v aggro! And it is indeed aggro v aggro! Alright. Well, let's see what we can do. Currently on board, he needs to kill it with the flame imp, but he might just go face. After all, he is also an orc, and as orc, we smoke it up. Or he might just have another ability like that, for instance. Hmm. Huffer. Huffer! Yes, back in the day, I remember my earliest videos. I said, I really don't like Huffer, I want Misha. But nowadays, I know the value of Huffer. Now, of course, 4 1, it's probably gonna trade out the possessed villager against it, or he's going to have a lucky knife throw, which is quite possible. After all, he's gonna do too. Yes, there is Huffer dying. Ow! Ow! Oh, you. Bastard! How dare you! Um, the problem is I also can't attack him right now. Ouch! This is not turning out well. He can of course card roll until the kingdom comes, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to try and roll needs, try to have at least some contesting, contesting of the board. Dispatch Kodo. <laughs> Probably gonna use actually on the knife juggler, not on this guy. Now, an important thing that you can do is actually, I'm gonna do free damage, but I'm just gonna put him on the board as a deter. 
Burns, something for him to fight up against. So the dispatch coder is down, knife juggler is uh, out. We have a um, turn six play if we have one beast up. He throws in a new knife juggler. That is kind of annoying. And that goes face. The knife juggler knows where he wants to go. Get it out! Get it out! And that hits me even, so he can definitely trade with the councilman. Too bad I don't have an explosive trap in this deck. Oh man, he is so lucky with his knife rows. Now his councilman doesn't need to do a darn thing and he can just go, Meh, I don't care for the damn. Yeah, this might be the end of me. Oh, I wish I could kill the councilman, but I can't. Ugh. Can he kill me next turn? 9, 11, 12, yeah, I'm dead on board, so... F fudge me, I guess. Um... <laughs> 8, 10, I'm not dead right now, but if he throws down w one bloody sergeant, then I'm dead. Yeah, getting King Crush that early is not a good thing. And there is the Doom God. I can... Yes, no, I did indeed concede before you won. After all, we don't die. We do so... We... We retreat. We... We... No, we... We, uh... We concede. You know, just a tactical retreat. I mean, tactical... Advance backwards. Let's uh, just try and smoke it up again, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah, I wouldn't... I'm, uh, why am I playing casual, you might wonder, in, instead of playing ranked? Well, this deck isn't really good for ranked, it just really isn't. Um, wow, well, getting a free free early um, is pretty good. But I kind of hope for another beast instead of the kill command. Uh, that, I like that better, to be honest. That's a uh, way to do it. But this also isn't really a, a, a really good opening, to be honest. But let's see if at least the orc can win of a human. I mean, orcs among each other, you know, they, they fight and sometimes people cheat and they, they have car troll at the wazoo and I don't at the moment. Then I'm big cry baby and I'm gonna cry about it and what have you not. Alright. I knew by the way before I made this deck that this deck is not really good. What it just isn't. Uh, when it comes to smoking going towards face, there are so many better decks out there. I still think that Zulok is decent even. Uh though a lot of people now use Pirate and what have you, not Yowza. <laughs> I don't need a 5-5 five, five that early, but the combination of this could be nice. I don't think it is good to get a 5-5 five, five or rather two free freeze. Seeing how early it is in the game. I hope you like my invention. Hmm, is that freeze mage then? You don't see this in tempo mage for instance. To my side. A four! Five damage to face! Though, again, we're now in turn three, right? If I was been playing Pirate Warrior, I have beaten people with Pirate Warrior, beating them down to zero health in five turns. I mean, I'm not gonna do that here. Uh oh. That might be interesting to check what it is. Uh, all my beasts get, <laughs> get the attack bonus, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Okay. Hey. Yeah, this is Freeze Mage. Should have then thrown it out earlier, but I was a bit afraid of in the thing being either duplicate or what have you not, potion of polymorph. So I didn't want to throw this out just there, and then I thought it might be vaporize. But then I shouldn't perhaps played this already, but 
Well, we have a decent board, that's for sure. Yes, it is indeed Freeze Mage. There's a Frost Nova. Um, this would give me all my creatures charge, but we don't need that right now. Let's do it like this. Now, he can coin out Blizzard, which would annihilate an almost entirely my board. So, that is going to be the big thing we need to dodge. Blizzard. Excuse me, you are on fire. And there's a Medea's Valet. Oh, twice even. But I want to break that block. Uh, so, to break that block, we have six damage here, five damage. Yeah, we can break the block. We don't do training, we go face! Didn't I already told you the battle plan? Now all I have to hope is that he doesn't have Reno in his hand. Because if he has Reno in his hand, well, then we're kind of screwed. Which is, by the way, the current meta to defeat aggressive decks. Have Reno. Or have a second ice block? That's okay. Done on Joe. There is the second ice block. We're just gonna get charge into this. Shouldn't have done that. But we have the hero power to finish it off anyways. I mean, I'm charging now and you I could have waited with a card and then thrown it down, but I wanted to get the second ice block with my hero power. If I waited on it, I would have two ways to win next turn. But we win! Smorking it up with a hunter. That was quite some early game damage. Turn 7. It is okay. It isn't amazing, but... Yeah, went alright. And We didn't have the cool Hancho combo and what have you. Well, we had Hancho, but we, we wanted to break the block. Breaking the block early is more important than, uh, well, doing it otherwise. Direwolf Alpha is kind of an awesome pick here. Because it synergizes well with Dispatch Kodo. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a greedy opening, I have to admit, for something that tries to smork it up. Uh, that could be awesome. That could land either on the Direwolf Alpha or on the Dispatch Kodo. And what type of druid are we facing? Is this Jade? Is this... Aviana Kuhn Malagos? I do not know. By the way, that's a very old card back. I think this is, goes back to Goblins and Gnomes. It was before my time, to be honest. Oh, I didn't really want to see that one. It goes to Dispatch Kodo. I'm okay with that. That means that Dispatch Kodo can do 4 damage out of hand for 4 mana and then it's still a 4-6. Now, if we can put down the Direwolf Alpha before that and it survives... Kind of an important thing here. If it survives, well, then we also have a chance to, well, do 5 damage. Um, but do we really want to throw it down right now? We could be inefficient with our mana and put down Fiery Bat, but it is... Yeah, I mean, he can just, just charge it down. I mean, I better can combo that with the Rhino. I think I'm just gonna Hero Power here. Probably next turn, I'm gonna go with an Animal Companion. Depends, of course, a little bit on what he throws down. Don't get me wrong, I mean... Ooh, Innervate. Something big? A Nourish! Yeah, he is... Ramping up like crazy. Alright. That probably means already another... L that, that isn't good for us, let me put it that way. Huffer! No! Huffer coming again in with the clutch damage. Putting it against him a little bit on... So he has to probably respond to this. But he might just throw down a Jade Behemoth and just say, I don't give a damn about your health. That's 
Interesting to see. This creature slowly kills itself. At the start of the turn, deal two damage to this minion. Uh, now, I could dispatch Kodo into four, and then it will be really, really low, but that won't be enough. I could, however, put down. And I'm gonna do that. Just to show you. I get five damage because I get plus one, so I'm actually doing five damage as I'm throwing out the Kodo. And then the creature kills itself. And you will... Five, six on the board. Where shall I strike? Um, pretty okay with that one, I think. The ramp hasn't really yet screwed me over. Um. Not really what you would like to do, but this way clears it out. We, we cleared it out, but I have to admit my minions are at so low health that I'm not really happy about it. To say the least. Swipe, alright. There's a Jade Blossom. It's a Jade deck. Alright. There's a King Crush. I'm trying to put a threat here. He might take down a Dire Wolf Elva. We can, he can easily do that with Hero Power and just a Jade Golem, but at least there is some other stuff on the board, and that is to try and help me get my scavenging Aina to work perfectly. This is a, a little bit of a daring play, though, I have to admit. He's gonna nourish for cards, so he could nourish for answers. He, he might just do a, a freaking swipe on my face, kill this, and then kill the Dire Wolf Elva, and I will be a sad panda, but otherwise, well, I'm gonna have to see a little bit what he's gonna do. I mean, we have King Crush, but that's over. F that's in three turns, and a lot can happen in three turns. All right. That went face. Time to unleash the hounds. And get ourselves a magnificent 9-5 scavenging hyena. Another threat for him at least to deal with. The problem is I'm gonna always lose the late game to Jade Golem. I I can't handle Jade Golem's late game. That's that's a definite. And there is already an issue for me to deal with. Now I can definitely pull down some of his power. Oh, that is not what I wanted to see. But that at least makes King Crush all the more important. I'm gonna have to let Bran stay up. Job done. Which is not what I like to see. I really hope he doesn't have another Jade Behemoth. He's definitely going to take this down with one of his Jade Golems, or with, well, another card, like, I don't know, Living Roots is a possibility. Swipe even, okay. He's putting me on the clock, that's for sure. That's not really a good swipe, though. I'm not really sure that was a good swung. Now all we have to do is hope that he doesn't have mulch. If he doesn't have mulch, we can win. Otherwise, it's gonna be difficult. I got the best deal anyway. Oh, shoot. And don't forget, he can kill King Crush, huh? He has enough power on board. Actually, uh, seven. Yeah, he has nine. And he has hero power.
That's not gonna work. Hmm. I think this might be a loss. We we came out a little too slow out of the out of the uh, the, um, the starting blocks. But don't forget, however, we do have things like kill count. We have things like quick shot that we could use. Uh, there are still things that we can do. However, it needs to come quick, or otherwise we're just gonna be out of timer. That's a, a pretty good card, but we don't. We are on a timer. In fact, we're dead next turn. 8, 13, yeah, we're dead next turn. We are dead! And he throws it also on the wrong one. It is just over. Because 5 plus all this. Let's just see if he acknowledges. Well, I don't, he doesn't need to acknowledge it. It's over. Yeah, as I said, this isn't the best smoke. We try to live on to the old style, but the old makes way for new, for a very good reason. I like beasts. I really do. I have two cats myself, but... This Hunter deck falls short, and we haven't seen Hunter in a long while, and this is the reason. I say that the best Hunter deck still currently is Secret Hunter. Well, I do hope you found a little bit uh, interesting, lost a little bit, but at least you... you could have a feel for what it is. And, uh, well, these games were a little closer, so you could still have a chance. And if we had drawn Kill Command with the Timberwolf, we would have been able to win, for instance. So, too bad we didn't draw it. I'll say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.